Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, today my video is about uh, AutoCAD Civil 3D and this is my third video continue on the Civil 3D in English. Uh, today we will talk about the point labels, their markers, how we can modify, how we can edit with our requirement. So before to start video, I want to introduce myself. My name is Amit Shazar and you can find me on the YouTube on my name Amit Shazar 216. When you find my YouTube channel, I have requested to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon. Then you will never miss my any new video notifications. So after this one, I complete this video. You can find this video in the playlist. I already have this playlist on the name of AutoCAD Civil 3D in English. So this is my third video. So let's go and start the uh, video. So here I have a one road intersection and uh, first i will import uh, some points data in last two uh, videos uh, i just uh, take manually some points but in, in this video i will bring some data like if i have a uh, data so for example i have uh, this test file this is in a csv format if you see first uh, column you can find the numbers north east elevation and then the descriptions so these are a uh, test uh, file each point he have a uh, description but i will not use the description only accept this last three descriptions In the last three points one is a fire hydrant uh, second is a uh, catch basin and no, last one is a sign board so these three only i can use uh, like a, a point description which i discussed in the previous videos so what i have to do i will go to my civil 3d and import this file on this place for the import I'll uh, go to the insert and then point file I'll press here and then press on this plus sign and then I will go to my uh, location where I have this file I have this file on the desktop in the name of test file so I click on the test file and then press open then I have to choose proper uh, uh, format which one I use this file because I have told you before I use point north east elevation and description so I will use this one and then press ok when I press ok this all points will be appear on my display as you can see all points are uh, is, uh, uh, default points except 500 catch basin and signboard why this uh, will be changed i already discussed in the previous videos about in uh, uh, description keys so you can see here i already changed this one catch basin per hundred and signboard uh, if you need more detail you can uh, watch my last video i will leave that uh, uh, on the end of this video so because our topic today is about the point modification so i will see first point is fire hydrant by default when we insert the fire hydrant this will be the location is opposite side of the road but if we need that this direction in the road side so have we have to change this uh, 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 play, uh, angle so what how we can change this uh, marker uh, position for that one we just click on that marker if we click we can find uh, and we have a two a selection one is this one is uh, we call diamond selection and we this second one we call a square uh, selection so the diamond grip control always the uh, markers and square grip always control to uh, the labels find there is a three option find there is a three option one is first one is the move point if i need to move this point i can move uh, rotate label and markers and rotate marker so in first option i will use rotate marker if i click here you can see this marker or handling i can move any angle whatever i have required i can move it this one i can move manually or i can give the angle what i have required so in this case i will just uh, keep it like here like this like this so if you have any angle you can put my angle now because my requirement is this uh, 500 side should be same with the road so for me this location is okay 
if I need to be modify this uh, uh, labels also so I can click on the uh, scale and then we have option rotate labels and move labels if I need to rotate I can click here you can see I can rotate this anywhere and this label uh, whatever I rotate it will be the readable any angle if I bring this one it will be a readable and this is very good for in several 3D uh, I just click uh, escape, escape and then I'll go to again on the square grip and there is a first option is the move label we can uh, move this labels where we want to do uh, for example I will uh, move it here when I move this one label, it will be automatically appear the leader. This leader will be automatically appears where we have a requirement. Just click there, and this will be leader is there. And this. So, if I need to be more modify this uh, leader, for example, I want this end of arrow on the location of hydrant. I can just pick here and bring on the hydrant. Also, if I need to be modify this row, I can modify from here. And if I don't like this position, I can just simply press on the minus button and then it will be previous shape. Also, if I want to be this leader on the original place, so I just simply go and minus and press uh, click here and this will be go in the original space. So, this is the way how we can modify this one uh, point marker and labels. I have uh, three options. For example, this is the second one is the catch basin which I already explained in the Excel sheet. I want to this uh, uh, catch basin parallel to the road. So what I will do, I just simply click on the catch basin and then rotate. We can, I can rotate the label and marker both. When once I feel this one is a parallel to the road, then I will click, and this is the catch vision according to the uh, catch vision. If I need to be uh, rotate this my label, I can uh, rotate my label, or if I need to move, I can move my label as previous I will I will be done, and I will click here. If uh, I'm satisfied with this angle of label, it's okay. If I'm not satisfied with this one, I can move this one also. Clicking here, I can rotate this angle. Which one I choose the proper angle? I can click there and it's finished. This way we will adjust them. This way we will adjust the angle of uh, labels. So third one option is here for me is a sign board. We can uh, adjust this sign board also because this sign board when appear it's not like a parallel to the road. It should be a perpendicular with this road. So how we can bring this perpendicular just click here and then we have to rotate this uh, marker. And if I need to be perpendicular with this uh, road, I have to press uh, shift and right click. And I have a perpendicular option. And I can bring it perpendicular with the road. And uh, this is the way how we can uh, adjust uh, our uh, markers and labels. For example, I will uh, move this uh, label. If I move this label, you can find this leader is away from this uh, marker. So how I can adjust? For adjustment, I have to go to properties, for properties control 1. And then on the last, we have a annotation leader attachment. I click in here and then I will select the points. When I select this point, this leader automatically go to the points as you can see now if i move this one label anywhere it will be locked with the points so in this way we adjust our uh, leader also so we can change also the angle for example if we need some label with the angles we can change this angle also 
Uh, this one will be we discuss in the uh, in the later when we are going to be make some uh, topographic data insert in the civil 3D and we will use this details. So for this video, uh, uh, only I explain the how we can adjust the point labels and I clear this one if. Uh, have you uh, if you will any uh, thing a uh, question related to this video you just let me know in the comments i will try to be explained in the different way finally thanks watching for uh, my video and don't uh, forget to subscribe my channel